that. Like, I will admit that he has some pretty cool blast power implied to be able to explode with a fit of rage with energy going all over him, like energy leaping from his body. I like how they're concerned about the furniture here. He states he's the mightiest of the Eternals. He even goes as far as clashing blows with Zeus, clashing beams with energy projection. I shouldn't even have to show no feats from this. This should already automatically give you respect just because Zeus is a freaking skyfather of Marvel. On top of beam struggling with Zeus and stuff like that, he even took a blast from Zeus too. The fact that he's not getting one shot and curb stomp instantly is amazing he sought gilgamesh aka the forgotten one like that showing his level of power he overpowered mockery the speed being of the group showing that he's the eldest for a reason whatever he does lack in strength which he still has a lot of he makes up for it in raw blast power telekinesis and other energy projective cosmic energy manipulative type power he does cool stuff like stop huge fire that were really big he can move big rocks with his telekinesis just standard abilities that look cool his force field can stop cosmic hulk aka not the real hulk of course but it's still cool to see he made contact with celestial known as the one above all not the supreme being of marvel but the celestial one above all you know what i mean because he has telepathic ability he did this with the help of his helmet by the way he actually beat cosmic hulk not the hulk the real hulk not the real hulk despite the odds of the eternals being like basically 10,000 to one even though they're like literally outnumbered completely he explained the difference and why they won zerus did and why they won against the deviants even though there was so many more deviants than the eternals in this particular case he stated that it becomes a fight when hundreds can't be killed they mentioned you're telling me a hundred people took on millions that's not a fight that's a massacre he debunked it by saying it becomes a fight when the hundred can't be killed and when you have tacticians like Zerus, he's a good tactician he's a leader and thinna his daughter even droog of nightmares my cousin he was always a nasty piece of work but he was lethal and you mockery he does get mistaken for zeus he kind of does look like zeus don't lie